Hello and welcome. I've come to a decision. I understand why map makers do what they do in so much as this Russell match fits so perfectly in the yard. It literally goes down all the little alleys and there's no header trailer because it's so tiny. But if we're going to sort of stay here, I thought it, this is the one time this has got value, which is right at the beginning. And I thought there's enough starting harvesters that I've got slightly bigger headers that I really don't want to set myself with such a sort of. I, I, I have played with the Russell Mush quite a bit, and I don't dislike it. I'm saying it's got a tiny header, and it's going to set us at an adva a disadvantage for a while, and we can't really afford, whereas we could buy a, an older model that's been imported. Now I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going the right way. Yeah. I won't be able to do this, of course, with the new header. I might have to lease a header, or we go heavily into where we like literally... Yeah, again, so which way is it? Is the entrance is going to go round and then, yeah, it's just, this is the. Yeah, we need to bring the. Um, yeah, because we've got to get on with the harvest, so. I was all in an hour and I was thinking to myself, I just really would like to do. to get to my uh, imported case. Really, one of my favourite star. Um, I can't afford the header, I can't, it's going to be all cripplers. Um, but we can sort of do this. Oh, it's got a car. Wow, it's got a car share as well. Excellent. But I thought if we're going to do it, do it to get your max value. Don't don't put rides. I know where it is now. It is here. Yes, and sell. Yes, not much of a difference really. But well, it, it, every bit helps. As the old saying goes, right. So where is the? I imagine it's no, it's not. Oh, it's actually in the shop. Oh, I do like it when they do that. Right, so then we are going to go. No, it's forgotten it already. I was oh, no, on over two things. I was thinking, do we go really small? I thought, well, why? Oh, yeah, could I could have my first choice, the first thought, was to go for the little Massey. I mean, there are the Dominators too, the class. But yeah, I was thinking of these. They're not bad. Tiny holds. Um, oh, and there's also the uh, holes one as well, which equally is good. I like. There's not much in it. There's there's 500 liters in it, and holes is a lot more powerful. It's got a 6.6 .6 meter, so it's not not bad at all. But yeah, there's the new. Yeah, they actually the Amatana one is one I keep forgetting about. The 10,000 liter hold. Yeah, that my second favourite harvest of the twin screw, which has been ousted by the uh, lizard colossus. This butte here, but we're not really in the. No, we, it's a little bit beyond that type of thing. But this is a very old case model. Mate, actually, Caesarius mod makes some cracking mods. I'm going to go for the four wheel drive though. It is a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to go for the extension. The slightly bigger engine, because it means I can. It's ideal. I have finally uh, on a Let's Play had the 8.5 meter. It's perfect for that. But you can go 12. In fact, you can go 13.7. It can just cope with it as long as the fields are not. But I'm not going to go that big. A 12 meter, I think, is probably perfect. And we are going to keep stick to its normal. All right, now we need to lease because I cannot afford a header at present. Yeah, no, there's nothing in there at the minute. Yeah, so anything from um, about 7.5 upwards is quite nice for this. 8.5 is is the sweet spot, as in what its auger is built for. The pipe is perfect. 12 it can manage, but it's also... It struggles with unloading with anything above the 8.5, whereas it actually unloads nicely with cosplay if you use the uh, 8.5. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not. Sh wasn't sure. I'd still got it hidden. Now, have I got a drape? I don't think I have. I think the drapers are all big. Yeah, I don't think there's any. Is that the multi? No, it's not. Yeah. So, what do we? I think we're gonna have to just go for the standard one. Yeah, Titan Draper. That's thirteen. That's the one that I've kept in for, obviously the, the uh, Colossus comes with that anyway, but these ones here, these can be multi-branded. Obviously you've got to change the colours yourself, 
but I like that. That's why I've kept in all drapers. Uh, but obviously, you, I would. Well, no, I like the the time. I would never go the Unreal unless, of course, it was in the sales and it was cheap and it was not really a choice. It was more. Yeah, all of the drapers are all large. Yeah. Tardis fast header. Tardis header. Hmm. Okay. No, we'll go proper case. I think it yeah, been releasing. I just think it would be silly to go for anything less than the case, which I have. Tw do I go 12 me? Uh... I think it's. I never tried a 10.8, actually. That is true. But that is that is the perfect for it. So we are going to lease for 2448. Yes. And we do need to go and get the uh, thing. Oh, so we've got a lot to do. I'm going to time lapse this. We're going to go grab the. In fact, haven't we got a field that's not too far away? It's still too far to go. It is. Right. We need our fastest. Well, that is equal to. The, I don't think we've had this out yet. So I think it's an outing for the Orion. Really? I should show you what I did do one little run and a little few bits of bob. I don't know if I bought them on camera. But, yeah, I think I did. The Or did I? Yeah, I've got that um, two tonner by Ridiculous Dominic. Uh, I think I did do it online. Yeah, I did. I'm sure I did. We bought the. Yeah, we need to grab this little laugh. Which I suppose we could do right now. Let's do that. I do love the West. One thing I do, I've said this and uh, said about Giants for a long while about the fact that I do like the way they have allowed that, where you can like sort of cheatingly go for things on. To, to sort of say it's a game, yeah, it sort of goes partially into the. So let's put these back where the other implements were, which is down this alleyway. Even though we've got more than that, but these little implements, it just seem. Yeah, the I think I showed the holes FS. We did that together, but I did win one run because I realised that I might not have showed it on. I can't remember. I did one run up to the uh, shop to get all the implements that I needed for the uh, front loader. So I can't remember if I did that as it showed you. No, I don't think I did. I think I did it afterwards. I thought, oh, I've not got the... Yeah, obviously, the money's gone down a little. Well, no, actually, it's just gone up. <laughs> it's just gone up because we've sold a harvester. Yeah, right, that's fantastic. Did I? I think I bought a fertiliser on that as well. I can't remember if I did that on that uh, last session. But yeah, just if you think, oh, he's got a bucket that he didn't. Yeah, I did go up to the. Uh, yeah, and I've got the um, big bag handler on the actual. You can see over there on the axum. So, and I'm tending to use this main way in. It sort of seems to lend itself to us uh, doing that. It is. I would say it would be the main way in, really. I know you can come in your courtyards and all the rest of it. Your special opening gates. Oh, we've got access. Is that, uh, I think it could just be to the field. It is, yeah. We, uh, we'll, it'll let takes to the. Yeah, there's a couple of. I'd only got the um, the holes FS on, so I thought, well, let's grab some fertilizer. It's, so if we do need to do it, we can do straight from there. So we've got the grass to cut as well, but we do need a front mower if we're going to do that grass. So yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say my words. Yeah, we're going to get cracking. There's a lot of fields to harvest, so I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys gals on the other side.
Right, I'm uh, down in tools. I am. So we've got 6,445 litres. I think that's Triticale, isn't it? I think. I think I'm right. I, I didn't realise. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to do the outer fields and then go back to the farmyard for a finish. And then I realised with horror <laughs> I'd got one of the biggest fields left still to do. So, yeah, it was... Uh, I think what we are going to do... Oh, do we... Well, do we have one that's for a change that's not completely... I've got to get the straw off anyway. is isn't very nice, is it? Yeah, that's... How much value is it? It's quite a big one. 120 versus 93 right next to the farm. That's a nice one. That's... We've got 94. If we sold that, we'd have... 100 which would leave us very short we might need to do a couple of things but i don't mind amalgamating it is an awful bonus as well it's a nice it's a nice size field and it's very very straightforward but obviously we've got to get the bales off there's a lot of bales to get off yeah i was determined i was going to finish the harvest and obviously i was going to work and do as many bales as i could um, before the harvest was finished yeah i didn't realize it was done so well yeah so let's just pop over to the farm and just drop that in and add this six tons to this and we'll see what we did really i think this is triticale yeah i know spelt is used to be called inferior wheat it's another brand of, another kind of wheat but not quite as strong as as wheat there's quite a few i'm not sure if triticale is similar the name is spell but i can't remember where i've heard you know what family triticale is in Whereas I know spelt is in the wheat family, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's, it was called inferior wheat. I do love the uh, layout of the farm, it's very beautiful, very, very pretty. Yeah, I thought it was quite appropriate, I was going to go for, I was going to swap the um, the class for uh, the Omatana class, the 30 tonner, and I thought, you know, I've not had one of these, and it is highly appropriate for a, a French manufacturer in a French stuff. I've never had the Le Bourge. Let's grab it. And it was also very reasonable. So win, win, win. So, yeah. I'll, no, I will. It's over. No, I won't. No, no, no. It's been a massive has been a monster session. I really I was ready after this field and I thought, no, I've got another field to do as well. I thought, come on. Come on. You've got to do it. I also think August. What do we plant in August? We might have to do a turnaround. And I would like to do the new uh, triticale spelt. Now mustard, mustard's a dark horse. It is. I'd actually like to do all. I know it's boring. I know it is. If you look at the value of mustard, it is a little bit special. That's left from earlier. Whereas these, as good as they are, why would old style mustard? What is that? Oh, so we can make some and make a little bit more. Although, to be honest, the actual... Depends on the old style mustard. You know, like what we need to do. Because it's only like an extra quarter. If it's if, it will, if we lose any, then I'd sooner like think, nope, <laughs> we'll let someone else do that. Yeah, it's a bit like there's a new vegetable um, juice mod. I put it in with great thing, thinking, oh, yeah, great, a mod is going to have broken the three to one um curse of the giants no no they haven't it's three to one so i thought you know i'm not bothered i'm not gonna do it until i was thinking it's i don't know why it's been done like that i was thinking if it was done like you got pig food as an uh let you know because the waste there's no way you're gonna lose two-thirds of your crop to produce juice from it and you'd still have waste physical stuff which could be gone into pig food because i'm talking about traditional pig food where pigs will eat pigs will which they can and will do yeah, i mean it did it never did any pigs any harm for thousands of years and now all of a sudden we've got all these like people that making a fortune from saying oh it's not safe anymore well that's strange because for the past generations their pigs seemed okay <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but are you making money from this, telling us that we can't do this? And you think, yeah, you are. So you've got an invested. So, let's get off my soapbox. 
it was reasonable as well. It was one of the smaller fields, so it wasn't terrible. I think I think I'm right in saying. Let's have a look. Let's let's be scientific about this. I do always like to put money where mouth is. So it is crop types two. Mustard was field twenty. Yeah, it wasn't. But it was about the same as ninety nine. So it is a little bit. Yeah, I suppose actually thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, 19 was tiny. I suppose it's a chance of always doing it that way, and I do admire that. You don't sort of get hammered for having a smaller... Um, yeah, basically, it's worth more. But I always find it's a bit like soybeans. Where's the green? Oh, alfalfa. Yeah. I always find that I'd sooner lug less and get paid more than lug lots. I mean, if I'm doing sugar beets and I've got, like... 2 million litres, which is not beyond the realms of possibility. That's an awful lot of lugging. If I did the same in soybeans, I'd probably get 200 tonnes max from a, a monster field. And it's going to be an awful lot easier. Probably 370 tonnes and that's an awful lot easier than sugar beet. So yeah, in some ways uh, bigger is not necessarily better as I know having been a sugar beet baron on Ravenport once it was, that was the nasty side. <laughs> really nasty. Right, anyway so yes, joking apart let's have a look. So how well did we do? Yeah, so mustard I still would like to do it though because as I've just said really, looking less does appeal to me. So I think we will, once we've got the bales off, we shall move from 9 to 33. Just, no, we've already owned 32, you can't buy it again. <laughs> yeah, 31's a nice field, but it's not, that's not a lot in it. So. That wouldn't cripple us, is what I'm thinking. It's almost a straight swap with a little bit left. It's a slightly smaller, 1.39 to 1.73, so yeah. But then in time, hopefully we would afford that as well. It would be nicer to buy the slightly bigger. It's quite a lot bigger, isn't it? Well, it is actually. I think we might skin ourselves and do a couple of uh, bailing contracts or something like that. Although I don't know that we can afford it. Even if we've only got 30 grand, all we need to do is seed. And we've got fertilizer, good partners. I think, yeah, we can. I think mustard. I think we're going to like whack mustard in all of our fields. I think I don't know what it's like to sow. Yes, and there's, I mean, there's only the one little 4.5. So next session we are going to the most important job is to set the seeder seeding, whilst I finish up on the baling. So yeah, that's the plan. I think it's I personally think it's not bad. So we look, we've got nine tons of wheat. Now obviously we've got chickens to feed. So I'm thinking the barley. Uh, oh, we've got six tons of seeds. Wow. Oh, didn't do we? No, I don't think we bought any. That's what we were given. The eggs are starting to come through. Four tons of TMR, 245. I'll say tons, as in a thousand litres is a ton, but we know that technically it's not quite right. But yeah, eight tons of fertilizer. Oh, so we have had some fertilizer left. Oh, do we make this ourselves? Cocky Express, right? Okay, if we do we own any, we do as well. Oh, it's a bit lost. It's about breaking even, and we get charged production costs as well. I like this though. Is it? I think it's standard, isn't it? Yeah, bread. It's it's not bad. It's it's an earner. Milk's good and cheese is good because you only lose a certain amount, but we need to obviously, um, yeah. We need some cows, <laughs> basically. So, oh, so it goes 17. Was that 17 tons that we ah, that can't be ours. That mean must be some that like from a last thing that's been put in there. So, we've been very kindly left some mustard, which we may or may not continue to do that kind of mustard. But I do think if we've got that set up. It loses a quarter and you gain a quarter. To me, it's a bit pointless doing it. If you look at the cost difference, did you look to see what mustard was at its best, though? We didn't, actually. That's true. Old style mustard. We did, yeah. 19. It's, it's not a bad one all year round, but 19 is its best. Versus 15, 30, it's its best for doing absolutely nothing. To me... 
but we've we've got something that does it so it's what percentage do you lose it's almost a quarter so we're losing a quarter to gain the same amount back this is what i'm saying sometimes these productions make no sense at all i could sooner sell the mustard the, the, sorry, you know, the, yeah, the mud direct mustard, can we take it out? I, I bet we can't. You never can, can you, on these kinds. So we'll do the mustard that we've got because it was a very kind gift of the map maker, but we won't be doing it again. It's 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 pretty pointless. You're doing it for the same. You lose. If there's a gain, it's so tiny that why would you do that? You've got any business has got to make sense. And that's what I think about the vegetables. I mean, I did it on obviously the map because that's what it was all about the new productions but when you actually sit back and look at the the business side of it you're like thinking why do i lose two-thirds of my crop and it's a slow process when i can just sell a whole shebang for 100 grand at the end of the year and there's a lot less hassle and then let someone else if they want to try to earn a tiny weeny amount from this in real life I'm talking about then let them do it because I can make more money with less effort and that's what it's about isn't it not saddling yourself with a business that makes it's really hard work and you don't gain anything it's just nobody's going to do that so I, I yeah that's why I can't wait till someone does something else. Yeah, I will wait for another modder to hopefully produce a mod that actually does make business sense with the new vegetables. Because, to be honest, I'm just tempted to sell them. It's as poor as they are by the hundreds of tons or hundreds of thousand litres that you do it. It actually isn't. It's quite profitable. But uh, again, you lug in a lot. I know it sort of goes against. But it's a lot more. You've not got massive factories to buy and all the rest. It doesn't make any sense. Not not to me. Not when I actually worked out what I'm gaining. I've always said that. I mean, the worst factory of all is the cereal factory, which if you work out your imports, you're losing heavily. I mean, it's, yeah, I think, actually, no, we've actually got, yeah, something similar in ours. Let's just have a quick look. Cakes. I don't think, I think they're all right, actually. They're not too bad. Yeah, I've looked at those in the past. Two, four, so oh, they are. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It loses two-thirds almost. Almost, yeah, two-thirds. So you get, you've got one-third... Of it left it's yes it's worth a fortune i know but gordon bennett you're losing products if you sold all of those individually would that would that be touching close to the five that you're getting from the loss and how long it takes and the effort it takes to do every single one of those equally to that sort of ratio is that worth all the effort seriously i'm not sure i've never done it but I, that's what keeps stopping me doing it because i think Nah, there's, there's there's better ways to make. Uh, I mean, bread's not bad. So, I mean, I've done bread a lot. I'm not. It's not because I'm afraid of the work. I mean, that's is there's better ones. But I mean, yeah, it's just not quite cheese and butter. They they're fine. They're pretty much. There's some that are slightly better. Some that's much worse. But yeah, that that's the farm cheeses. I think that's a goer. Bread, perhaps, maybe, yeah. Possibly. What, what, oh, it doesn't. You, we, then we need to do flour as well. And that's what I'm saying. Your flour, depending if you do oats, is the best you gain. But then you're losing half of your flour to produce one bread. So it's sort of like yeah, I need a factory to do the flour. And then there are plenty of good ones of those. But then I need to do. So I've got a production space. And you like think, I'm not sure. When all said and done, it's actually worth it. I have I looked into this. I did it on a court farm. We did a bit of a... And it is sort of worth it. But the other thing is, you invest hundreds of grand that you could just buy more fields. And it's a lot simpler. Really, just go for bigger equipment and earn another fortune. Go for the right crops that are good for your map. And to be honest, yeah, I mean, we made a fortune on Hobo Solo with very little productions until quite uh, far in. And we did really well out of it. We we did far better by just ploughing the cash straight back into the farm to buy more fields to do more the next year. 
and we did that year out, year in, year out, and we did really well. Uh, sometimes the productions, certain productions, choose, I've always keep saying these words, and I, and I mean it. Choose your partner well. Yeah, there are certain ones that are crackers, uh, and I don't mean to cheat. There's ones that are almost a bit tongue in cheek and a bit cheaty. I'm talking about just good partners like the Farmer Jeb and things like that. Omatana's got some cracking sort of things, but some of them and the Giants ones, I wouldn't touch them at all. They make no business sense. I, I can't see a single one that actually makes much business sense on amounts. Of destroying your crop so, I mean you make profit but not an awful lot as I said in fact no I don't think I'm trying to think the only reason I made profit on Zilonka was the fact that we sold them at the train because that was a good price and, and let's be honest if anyone's seen the videos it was awful it threw half of your products all over the place and every single time I've got to go and it's an awful lot easy to just drop off your crops <laughs> and make a little less money without all the stress of like having to pick them up every time so yeah all things considered uh, I did it longer because it it was what it was about so you can't not really can you I was trying to be be right but did I think it made sense uh, not particularly <laughs> not really or at the time I, I must admit it was only when I looked in editing at the things and I'm thinking yeah anyway I'm tired I am I tend to waffle for England so I'm sorry to bend your ears for 10 minutes even though I've got a point I have but uh, well I think I have and again as fellow shareholders I always like to hear from yourselves what do you think I mean are, are the Giants productions am I doing them an injustice are they good you know I mean what do you all think so all that remains to be said for this exceptionally long session is thank you very much for watching truly do hope that you were going to stick with me on this journey and i'm going to say oh one further thing yeah there was another reason the one thing that used to when i did it uh, on hobo solo when i sold just sorry to but this is going to be a quick one when i just sold um products the one thing i do like about this is it's very rare that you harvest and can sell within a very short period of time now that makes mustard quite special hobo's hollow you'd often do your harvest say august and you'd have to sell it the next july or june which is almost a year so you've got to do really well and keep quite a bit of cash in or have silage business on the side or whatever or once you got going you got your milk and things like that to keep you going to get the big cash out next year for your harvest this year so to get a, a like mustard even if it's slightly less and we're getting less than the other ones we're selling it straight away in December so we're harvesting it in August and selling it in December. Now that is special. It is. So for that reason alone, it's it's like, um, yeah, play the game cleverly, really, to think about these things. And that, that to me is, yeah, I mean, these are not bad either, actually. Tritical and Spelt. And again, it is, you get more of it. So you're lugging more for pretty much the same, which I like, actually, because you don't get penalised for doing Tritical or Spelt. So, yeah, they're pretty much of a muchness, really. And the, the yield was good. I think we've got six, seven tons in there and 20 tons we've looked away. That's 27 tons. And when you look at the size of 9 and 20, no, it's about a third extra. So, but that, yeah, if you th consider there's an awful lot, there's almost three times the amount of that, which would be about two times the amount. Yeah, which it is, it's about two times the amount if you looked at the size of the fields. So anyway, I promise I won't be long. So <laughs> all that remains to be said is goodbye for now. <laughs>